Will installing additional door seals on the Tesla Model 3 make a difference in the noise levels? Let's find out. What's up everyone? Quick life update before we jump into today's soundproofing video. Uh, Meg's out of the hospital, she's doing great. We're waiting to see if the plasmapheresis that she went through makes a difference, but it's kind of like a two week wait. So, you know, I'm wishing her the best. Hope all comes out okay. Second thing is I heard from my insurance company, they're going to take care of uh, everything that was stolen at full replacement value. So now I've got to go through the process of getting a new bike. Uh, I've got a new drone on the way, it should show up today. So that's all good news. After five days worth of wiring, I've got my uh, new security cameras up and running and security system installed. Uh, here's a picture of the server rack where it all goes. Uh, I decided that while I was doing the project at the same time I would relocate my uh, all my media uh, servers from a closet into the garage in a server rack. So now it's all in one place. It's all set up so when I redo our closet I don't have to move it then. On the license plate issue and the ticket I am going to order the bandit uh, that should be here in a couple of weeks and I will you know, go get the ticket fixed. Uh, once I get that in installed, TBD if I leave the plate on or take it off after that. And then lastly, a while ago in one of my videos I mentioned that after driving up to Tahoe I had a big uh, issue with some of the paint and some salt issue that was really stuck and stuck hard to the car. And the waterless wash that I use wasn't strong enough to take it off. Uh, I talked to Joe at OC Detailing and he sent me a different uh, car wash to use it's a it's a real car wash rather than a waterless car wash took it right off without a problem so uh thanks to joe for sending me the right way and uh super helpful so one of you sent me a link to adding additional door seals on the model 3. um i'll put the link in the description below but here it is and I'm gonna give that a try. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if that makes a difference. You know, I'm changing back to my winter wheels today for a drive up to Lake Tahoe. So I will have to switch baselines, but I do have a dry baseline on the winter wheels, which is like it's going to hopefully be tomorrow. So, you know, we'll be able, we'll be able to see from start of the sound editing till today with the door seals, what kind of different that difference that makes against a baseline of just the winter wheels. So curious to see if that works, uh, and I'll walk you through the project as I go. All right, the car is squeaky clean. It's time to put on these seals. I'm actually going to get it really dirty tomorrow on a drive up to Tahoe, but needed it clean to make sure the door seals are going to stick. So here we go. So I know I told you I wouldn't do this again, but I'm not going to give you the results on the door seal install in this video because frankly I want to post before I go for a long drive and test it out and I am done driving back and forth over the Bay Bridge just to get a sound reading. So we'll get a reading next time I drive over, I'll post it then. But I wanted to give you the heads up before the video this time so nobody complains about having the results. I've got the seals sitting out, kind of uh, regaining their shape. The way they were packaged, it kind of came in and they were all wrinkled up. So had them sitting out all night. Hopefully they'll stick better this way. So I gave you links down in the description of where I found this on Tesla Motors Club's forums, uh, but I'll show you the two seals. There's links on that site to Amazon to get them. But one, let's see if I can get in here. One is kind of a um, P shape, and the other is a Z shape. And the site tells you where they go on the car, and I will show you as I go here. All right, so I'm up at the front door here thinking about where I'm going to put this first uh, Z seal, as they call it. And I think I may have gotten the wrong Z seal because I'd love to tuck behind here and tape this way to the front of the door, like this way. 
but the tape is on the wrong side, right? Because I'd want it to come in and touch here behind everything um, and not be seen. Now I could go like this, but then you see the seal and that's stupid and ugly, so I'm not gonna do that. Moving to the back of the driver's door, this seal actually looks like it will work here. Uh, we'll put this one on and then test it. First things first, a little clean with some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I know the car is clean, but I want to make sure it's super clean so these seals actually stick and don't come off in the future. I just need to be really careful not to get anywhere it can be seen because this, uh, this will likely screw up the ceramic coating. seal a little wipe down make sure that's clean as well all right so I'm gonna put it on and then cut it I'm gonna do a couple inches of time inches at a time with the tape and we'll see how this goes um, I don't know how it's gonna work around this bend I want to try and do it but who knows let's find out sorry if I'm blocking you for a second here All right, this should be pretty easy. And now that I got it started, I'm gonna try the trick that I usually use, which is kind of hold it in place and then pull the seal out from behind it. That way you don't have to worry about it sticking to somewhere else as you go. Automatically ends up in the right place. Oop, except for I went too far there. See if I can do this corner and make it look good. Get a razor blade. I'm gonna switch to a fresh, sharp side here. So this is cuts as best as we can and you gotta be really careful around the paint. So future, I'm probably gonna cut these before I stick them on. But for this one, because it's the first, we'll just do it and be careful. So I had a thought as I was putting this on. It's actually a little cold in my garage. Um, so I'm going to use a heat gun. Now this really scares me, so I'm going to be super careful, as should you, if you ever use a heat gun near paint or other things that you don't want to ruin. So I'm going to stay super far back. Um, but after this one, I'm just going to put the car's heater on high, let it warm up a little bit, burn some of the battery off, and hopefully that will uh, make it a little easier to put these on and make sure they stick forever. I'm keeping my hand here, so if my hand burns, that means the paint's going to burn. So, hopefully this makes it a little safer. Ooh, that's hot. Now that that first one's on there, let's just do a quick close-up to see what it looks like. See? Yep. Holds the angles pretty well, even through that S-curve there. Let's try shutting the door. I'm going to kind of do a normal close. Model 3 doors close pretty heavy to begin with, but let's try it. Shut's great. Can't see a thing. The beauty of filming while you do projects means you can make yourself look real stupid real quick. This seal, actually if I flip it over, will fit perfectly on the inside of the door here, pointing forward to seal against the, uh, the fender. Let's see if I want to do it this way or from the inside of the car. The inside of the car is not going to be easy either. So this one's going to be difficult. Let's see how we do it. So that seals in. As you can see, you can't really tell from the outside. If I get close, you will see if you can see it on camera. Sorry, she laughed there. You can see there are parts that it touches and parts that it doesn't. So I'm not sure that's gonna do a huge change, but we'll see. On to the bottom of the door now. We use the P-seal. It's gonna go on right here. 
This one's going to be a little harder to line up because you have to kind of match the bottom with your finger as you go. There's no real line. And these right here are water drains. So if water gets in the door, that's where it comes out. Got to keep those clear. If you get any condensation over time, anything gets stuck in there, that's bad. So I'm going to try and go up and over that a little bit. Uh, not too much, but uh, keep a straight line and off we go. This may be the hardest part getting the tape started. Oop, too far. We're installed. You can see the edge. Sorry about the shaky cam, but runs along and ends right there. let's do the door test with that one on seems to shut just fine down here you don't see a thing Well, I was only going to do the front doors today, but I kind of got in the zone, so I went for it. Just had to reposition the car so I could open the back doors and make it work. Door close test on this one. Doesn't seem to be any different. Almost every project I end up making myself a duct tape band-aid. This one I somehow got a blood blister. No idea how I must have pitched it on something, but you know, a little duct tape, a little paper towel, and some of that uh, rubbing alcohol I was using earlier works great. Thanks again for watching everyone, and thanks for the recommendations of things to try as I continue making videos and I continue to try and sound dead in a model three. As always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and tell your friends. As I said before, trying to get a bunch of followers so I can keep doing this. Uh, having fun, but I'm also spending some money, so I want to try and get a little return on that. Anyway, it's been fun. Until next time.